Greetings everyone, this is Planet Rich from LightRumors.co with an update on the new Lumen software drop that came out today. So there's a new page over on Light.co. If you go to Light.co slash Lumen, then you can get to this page and notice that you can download it. Now there is no longer a password, so you can download this and test it out yourself. Especially if you grab these three LRI files that they have included, you can do your own testing. What I want to highlight right now, however, is the new Focus Adjust. If you go through their settings, uh, you can go through their little tutorial on how to adjust. Primarily, you're looking for areas that are gray. Those are areas that you cannot adjust the focus but everything else that is something that isn't gray, you can focus on. So I have taken this image, I have already adjusted it to F2, so that's the lowest, highest, <laughs> the widest aperture that you can get in Lumen. And you see there are gray areas, so the gray areas have a big zero slash through them, so you can't do that. But we can see from this image that I focused on Jesse and Dylan and this other guy that I can't remember his name are out of focus and so are the people in the background. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the focus and I'm gonna click on, uh, we already know it's on Jesse. So I'm gonna click on this young man's eye, which I cannot remember his name and I apologize to him, but you watch, uh, so you see the progress bar down here at the bottom. Uh, I am running on an iMac from 2011. No, that's not right, 2014, it's several years old. But, so, anyway, you see that uh, we have quickly gone from focus on Jesse's eye over to focus on this young man. Isn't that amazing? Are you ooing and aahing? So, let's suppose that um, I scroll, let me zoom out here. And I can click on this young man, right? He's pretty out of focus at this point. Can I change the focus to him? Well, lickety split, all right. It does take a few seconds for it to process. But notice that uh, this young man, whatever his name is, and I'm sorry, uh, is going out of focus. And look at that, this young man in the background. And maybe I turn this off. Oh, so I can drag this way. So is it perfect focus on him? No but I've also zoomed in quite a bit, right? So if I zoom out and make this kind of centered, he looks like he's in focus. Jesse's kind of in focus and so is, what's her name? I can't remember her name either. <laughs> Shame on me, but isn't that amazing? This is, this is something that your DSLR today cannot do. Uh, you could do this back in the old days in the Lytro but the Lytro had a four megapixel camera. This particular image is 25 mega megapixels. I measured it uh, earlier today. Um, oh, uh, the resolution's listed right over here, which is really hard to see because um, it doesn't get any bigger. But that focus adjust is pretty darn impressive. I mean, I have changed focus th three or four feet. Uh, from front to back. I mean, <laughs> let me do that again if you don't really believe it. So this young man is in focus. Let me focus on Dylan's eyes, which may be his glasses, but... Uh, so that was much faster process, so let me zoom in there and turn that off so I can move. There it comes. There it is. So now Dylan is in focus and the young man in the background is out of focus. Now to me, that's pretty friggin' impressive. Can't find that on any other program on the planet. So, is this something you're gonna do every day? No, because it's a slow process. But on the exception, let's suppose uh, you had somehow been uh, doing something and you really missed the focus and you really wanted it on Jesse's face. Uh, it's just a matter of simply changing your focus selecting a point and going right to it. That's impressive to me. Impressive as heck. And I'm zoomed in, okay? So it's not quite as sharp, maybe. Uh, it's still repainting. It's not 
perfect in terms of its repaint speed yet. Uh, but guess what? I can also add some sharpening if I want. Now that's probably too much, but if I zoom out a little bit, I say zoom out a little bit, uh, looks less of a problem. It's just impressive as heck to me. This, this is really amazing. This is Planet Mitch from LightRumors.co. Come on over and check us out if you're interested in the Light L16 camera. Thanks to Jesse and Dylan and all the other people that I can't remember their names.